get ready start sir i now rise to reply to the discussion that has taken place on the motion of thanks to the governor's address i should at the outset say that much beyond our expectation a large number of members have taken part in the discussion this year i am sure that it has afforded a good opportunity to the members to review the position as to what has happened in the last 4 or 5 months and perhaps during the last 2 or 3 years sir a variety of subjects was touched upon and it looked as though they were having again a general discussion on the budget proposals i wish to honorable members confined their remarks to what is said in the governor's address nevertheless i am really glad that the members have taken much interest in the affairs of the state and have come forward to give their views i have no quarrel with them they have every right to say what they feel but when it takes the form of mere criticism not very constructive then i am inclined to observe that they have their own motives they are entitled to make election speeches and we are also entitled to reply in the same fashion but they may not be quite appropriate in the present context that is all what i wish to say about that aspect of the matter i took pains to furnish information about the various schemes included in the five year plan i naturally expected the members to state whether they approved the proposals or wanted their abridgement or enlargement but i am surely disappointed when they diffused their attention on the so called food situation instead of reverting their attention on the important document placed before them i am sorry to say that they have indulged in cheap criticism as it was always easy to state in all places that many people were dying somebody has once said that man is a complaining animal i am more and more convinced of this fact you may have your own disease but it is not necessary that you should contaminate your neighbor with all your worries and woes i want to tell you straight away that in spite of many difficulties difficulties of a kind which have not been confronted by any government we have maintained law and order and have kept up proper standards of administration i want that members should take an optimi- optimistic view of things i want them to carry the message of hope of happiness and confidence to the people and they should not go about diffusing their depression and distress to the masses the people at large are not worried about your personal disappointment and personal worries all that you should do is to tell them in concrete and precious terms what you are doing to do for them i have listened with great respect to all the speeches that have been made on the debate on the governor's address but i am sorry to say that they did not give me a clear indication of what they are to say to the people i want you to carry message of hope and optimism to the people you must distribute joy to them and not distribute melanch- melancholy to them i am an optimist and i share the optimism of the people i know that the people are optimistic and they do appreciate that in spite of the very many difficulties the government are doing something for them it does not matter what kind of speeches are made here i am sure that the country's outlook is quite bright 
and cheerful so i think i need not attach much importance to the various unreasonable criticisms leveled against the government on the floor of the house sir much time has been taken during the last 5 years for the discussion on the food situation anybody can speak of this subject without preparation and without any statistics and criticize the government for their omissions and commissions because it is the easiest subject on which they can freely state what they cannot otherwise do in the course of their discussion on other specific subjects let me point out to the house that it is not a matter which can be tackled overnight the neglect of decades and centuries is before us if the food situation still continues to be bad it is because it was so abnormal all these years so we have to take quite a long time to improve the situation substantially i think nobody will ever say that we have not done anything in this regard having regard to the magnitude of the problem however much we may wish to achieve quick results it will certainly take some time i therefore request the members to appreciate all these difficulties and bear with us for some more time some honorable member remarked that the case of this government has not been effectively put forward before the government of india for effective implementation at right time stop